How long did it take you to write where you felt you were writing at a professional level? Hmm. Probably five feature length screenplays because it was my fifth spec that actually um, was optioned and sold. So I'm like, well, I must be doing something right. Sure. <laughs> you know? But it took about, and the ones before were kind of bumbling and there was, you know, it wasn't obviously quite up to par to compete. It, those, those are the ones that we see you have to get out of your system. You know, the first two or three and a lot of, many times, um, writers write their first script and they're like, where's my agent? You know, this is their first script of their first draft, you know, and say, this is brilliant. And you're like, well, the first of anything is not going to be, unless you're a genius, which you very well may be. But most of the time, there's so many things that, so many moving parts, you know, that it's hard even at best to get it like, wow, this is, you know, 100% there. So it takes time. And so about the fifth one, um, you know, it was about, okay, I, I think I've got this under control, you know, and then, you know, and then from that also, that was a learning experience to work with producers because one thing to write your script, it's another to now it's real, you know, where you don't live in your bubble and you're like, everything's exactly the way I want. And you're like, well, now it's being taken away from me and I have to compromise and make changes and there's budgets and all sorts of things, you know, and you stick to, you stick to the creative aspects of it because you wrote it, but you have to realize that filmmaking is a collaborative, you know, art form and there's other people involved. Starts with the script, but a script is just a script. You know, it's words on paper, it has to be brought, elevated to actors and someone to direct it and, you know, so I think it was the fifth, my fifth spec. And so not just the fact that you were being hired to do something, but was it also the ease or the, the comfort in your own skin of like, okay, I'm working with other people and they may not like this and I'm gonna get feedback and I'm gonna be okay with that or what? Was there like something that also shifted? Not just the fact that you got these jobs, which is huge, but I mean, did you also feel like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, this is, I'm doing this. Yeah, but, <laughs> Even now, to a certain extent, you know, there's still that um, with artists, I don't think it ever goes away, especially writers where, you're, you know, this voice is going, oh, my gosh, this is the one that they find out you're a fraud. You actually were able to fool them, you know, 16 times. And now is the one where they catch you, you know, um, but it's a constant learning experience. And I always say I get butterflies before every job because I respect it such and I don't take it for granted sure like oh this will be a walk in the park or I know how to do this I do but every time out is different every script's different every producer's different so it's not going to be the same as last time so you can't say well this last one and some are easy and some are just the worst thing ever you know I mean <laughs> I'm not saying the worst thing ever but some are very difficult and you just wonder like wow how is it this one is so more so much more difficult than the last that was a breeze? And you don't know. I mean, it's it's just a a weird combination of of elements, you know. And it's so, uh, but it's better. Yes, absolutely. After I'm working on my fortieth screenplay, so I you wow. know, uh, but I still, like I say, bow down to the craft and respect it because I learn something every time that I didn't know before, and I should be open to that. I think writers should be. Should be never, you get to a plateau and you're like, I know everything. You know, a master martial artist is, is not only living it, but also continuing to learn. You know, so it's like that kind of, I keep using martial arts because I'm studying right now a little oh, bit. Nice. Yeah, so it's, it's helpful in the, in the writing aspect, philosophy of almost the same thing. Because, you know, the first moves are like, well, that's not it, you have to do this. No, the pressure has to be on that foot. And you keep, but if you just keep at it, you know, and, and be open to learning, you know. And with martial arts, would you say it's 50% physical, 50% mental? I think, well, I, I'm not de deep into it. I've been, a, you know, I've been interested for many years, but a lot of it is mental. And the physicality is you can be a small person and still ward off an attack because of what you know. You know what I mean? It's, it's using force against, it's using, you know, against your own, you know what I mean? It's like you don't have to be a Herculean person to defend yourself. 
but it's not about defense, you know what I'm just saying? But it, it, writing, it's, it's a um, discipline. And I think it should be followed as such, and it's a lifelong learning process. So, um, like I say, even after so many scripts, some are terrible, some are the best I've ever written, and I, I keep striving to have the next one be better than the last one. And there are a lot of factors when it ends up, when you actually have a, a movie that's filmed, it's out of your control. You, you write the script, but you're not there directing it, you're not there producing it. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of choices that can fall short from what your vision of it becomes. So at, at that point, you have to step back and just go, well, on to the next one, you know? And it doesn't mean you don't care, but you can't care so much that every time you're just destroyed, you know, and, and, and uh, that's why I say about detachment is so important over the long haul because it doesn't mean you don't care. And believe me, still I'm making changes now in a script and I'm just like, <sighs> you know, I care, but I have to get this thing through the conveyor belt, you know, into, the, into production. So, um, you know, it's a lot less stressful for you over the long haul to care, but just sort of be, don't hang on too tightly, you know? Um, so that's just my personal experience. Do you think, going back to the analogy of um, martial arts, that writing is similar, 50%, I wouldn't wanna say physical, but the act of writing and, and, you know, and then the other 50% is like this mental thing of showing up every day, not putting it off, not sure. going to the beach, and not letting the little voice say, this is horrible, I'm not gonna finish this. And, and uh, yeah, yes, and a lot of it is feel too. You know, writing is not just um, mechanical. It, there's a there's feel like you're like you're sculpting. I think like with clay. You know, you're writing a scene, but your your technique is through you know a laptop or whatever you write on, and it's coming out here onto the page. And so with that, it, it's a combination of all things: mental, physical, but also um, what, you know it's it's amazing because once when you feel and you get a move right. And you don't have to think about it. It's like, you know, and you, but I said, how would this person ever study for so many years and do all these different things? Because it just, same way with screenwriting, how could you study and know all these different things? Because you just keep doing it again and again and again, you know? And that's back to your earlier comment about who's a writer and who's not. If you're a writer, you write, you don't talk about it. You know, Hemingway had a quote about that. Writers don't talk about their stuff, they're too busy working. And it, what I mean about that is like, oh, I'm, you know, doing my pages and this and that, which is fine, but you better be doing the pages you're talking about. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it's just, you're doing more talking about your work than actually doing the work. And it's always about the work. So we can talk about our work, but if there is no work that's real, and I'm not saying you have to sell something either, you know, writers who write, you're, you're absolutely a writer, you know, but if you... If you find that it's not for you, that's okay too. Because I see people come up against that wall all the time and they're fighting desperately. It's like, you let go. It's okay to let go. If it's not right for you, why do you want to try to force it? You know what I mean? Because it's a long, it's up and down journey to be a, a writer, you know? So it's, you, that's why I would say you have to really love it more than anything else because it's going to be, uh, it's going to break your heart and it's going to be the, the best thing you've ever experienced in your life at the same time.